Welcome to our podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we explore how the brain stays active after death. Human minds have always been curious about life after death and what's there on the other side. We have been working to find answers to these questions for years, but haven't been able to crack the code. However, scientists now have reached halfway through as they have found that the human brain keeps working long after dying even when the heart stops. For centuries, scientists and researchers have believed that dying is not the end of brain activity. This is the first time that it has been proven right now. A major study, led by researchers from New York University Grossman School of Medicine, has identified potential flickers in the minds of cardiac arrest patients as medical staff attempt to revive them. This study was a follow-up to a previous investigation into near-death experiences. The study aimed to explore the experiences of patients who underwent cardiopulmonary resuscitation in hospitals across the US and UK. A pilot sub-study involved monitoring electroencephalogram activity and cerebral oxygen levels during CPR, offering a glimpse into the diminishing consciousness of those on the brink of dying. Among the 567 patients selected for the study, only 213 regained a pulse. Alarmingly, a mere 53 of them survived to be discharged, with a scant 28 deemed healthy enough to participate in follow-up interviews, recalling their experience while dying. The study was led by Sam Parnia, a scientist obsessed with uncovering the mysteries of dying. Interestingly, none of the 28 patients who escaped from dying and were later interviewed could recall the images on the tablet or the sounds from the headphones, but their brains appeared to exhibit some degree of activity. Survivors reported fragmented recollections of their resuscitation, including the sensation of chest compressions, the presence of electrodes on their skin, and the auditory perception of voices from the medical team. Real-time brain monitoring data further supported the hypothesis that neurological activity could persist after dying despite impaired cardiac function. Dr. Pania commented on the findings stating that even though the previous assumption was that the brain suffered permanent damage 10 minutes after the heart ceases, the study discovered the brain could show signs of activity much longer. He concluded by saying, This is the first large study to show that these recollections and brainwave changes may be signs of universal, shared elements of so-called near-death experiences. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.